Hey guys, the TV here. Welcome back to another video. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, great start. Um, just want to point out throughout this video, I might be coughing a lot, but this coughing, it's not COVID. We sometimes forget that other illnesses do still exist. COVID has just been added in, but um, I've tested myself quite a lot for the last few days and it's still negative. If it is positive, then I will say, but so far it's not. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but anyways, let's get along with this. Let's just continue this video. Um, so today, just finished all of year 12 and the summer holidays just finally began. And, um, and I've got my final grades. Um, I just need to point out that these are not official AS results. So there's no certificates or licensed official grades given out for these. These are just our end of year, what our teachers think we're working at based on uh, mocks we've had. <coughs> and um, yeah, this is what I'm going into year 13 with and what my prediction for UCAS and my year 13 prediction would be based around. Uh, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So first up, biology, by far my favourite subject. The teaching, the content, <coughs> just the subject in general. It just, I enjoy being in the lessons. Practical side, not so much. Knowledge side, yes, love it. Um, both my biology teachers have been fantastic. Um, one of which who are <coughs> who is going into year thirteen with us, so cannot wait to use more of her services and um, after school interventions, hopefully, and during school, and um, more focus. Uh, our other teacher is pregnant and will be leaving us for the next year, so we do have one teacher for biology next year, and can't wait to use her because she's so helpful. Um, on my my most recent final mock, I managed to get an A in biology, um, which I am so happy for. Uh, I'm hoping my prediction next year is an A star in biology because I need to get an A star. It's the one subject I genuinely feel really confident about uh, in my three. <coughs> <coughs> I think it is one subject that I will do really well on, um, considering I have taken part in two national biology Olympiads this year for the year 12 and the year 13 one so one year 12 i did both well my, well my class did and i did get awards in both of them a commended award in the year 13 one and a highly commended award in the year 12 one so mentioning those in my ucas really does look good uh, so that's really good uh with the paper we sat it was a 2020 paper and of course <coughs> grade boundaries were a bit messy uh, considering what a weird year it was but um, apparently the grade boundaries were all lower than what they usually were so um, I just about scraped the grade boundary by I think it was three or four marks uh, I'll put the pictures up now the papers I sat set of two papers and that's what I got so I finished here to a biology with an A and hopefully just gets good as I go along. Anki, I'm telling you, use Anki. It's the only reason I do well in it. <laughs> so moving on to maths. Oh boy, uh, our class did terrible on maths as a whole. Um, I'm not going to specifics of it, but it was not good. But saying that, <coughs> our teacher thought is just genuinely just a really good person at teaching maths. Um, he's, we only have one teacher and he finds a way to actually engage us, engage with us during their lessons, even over Zoom, uh, over lockdown. So he, his teaching was good. It was just about, I think maths in general is just a really hard subject. So, um, in pure, so if you don't know the weightings for Edexcel maths, it's 70% pure, 15% mechanics, 50% statistics. My recent paper, I got a C in my pure i've got a c in my mechanics and i've got an e which i've messed up horribly and i hate statistics now um an e in my stats <coughs> and all of that averages out to a c i was bang on in the middle of the c to b gray boundary so i really need a prediction of an a considering 
on uh, considering the universities I want to apply to. Oh, by the way, I'll finalise my university choices. I'll probably make a separate video on this, but I'm considering Oxford, UCL, Exeter, Durham, Manchester. Those are my five universities. Um, all re uh, related in the subject of human sciences. <coughs> um, yeah, maths is a very brutal subject. St stats is just so hard. Um, and the fact that it's hard... I need to work on it. <laughs> then you can't avoid just one part of the course. So that will be my focus for next year. But Pure obviously has such a massive weight in compared to Mechanical Stats. So that has to have more focus. Um, A2 Maths does look scary. I must admit, out of the three subjects I'm doing, it seems the scariest. But I guess we just got to push through it. Just 100% focus in it um, for myself, my whole sick form and all other sick forms out there. Just put your focus in maths, because maths is a weird subject. With predictions, it may seem a bit unrealistic to put someone who's working at a C um, up at a prediction of an A. So I might actually request to sit some independent mocks in the supervision of my teachers to sort of reinforce that prediction of an A, hopefully. Because I am aiming, well, I, I really want a prediction of an A star AA at minimum. Um... <laughs> just so it looks good for universities but um in terms of working now we shall see how it goes finally psychology damn psychology has been a very good subject so i'm gonna probably go a bit more back so <coughs> uh before we set our set our final mocks uh we set a mock before that and that mock i smashed an a quite securely into the a grade boundary and i was happy I was like, okay, this is an A-level paper. No, it wasn't an AS paper, it was an A-level paper. I sat back, I was like, hey, that was all right. That was quite a good, it was a good paper we just sat. And then I sort of was like, okay, I feel like my psychology knowledge is all right. But I kept up with my Anki revision, uh, my Anki sort of reinforcement of knowledge. And came <coughs> our real mocks. And I... Sat them and I thought, hey, I did really well. I think I did okay. Got my results back. Got a D. <laughs> um, a D may seem really good in some people's eyes, but in terms of mine, it wasn't. So please don't judge yourself based on that. Uh, but I wasn't happy with that. <coughs> and the main reason why I messed up on was in terms of what knowledge I used for a question. I wasn't. It was the main, the main massive essay mark questions. For example, as a question, a sixteen mark question essay on research into conformity, I wrote about obedience, so I got zero. Uh, that messed me up, and then just the paper in general, I just wasn't thinking properly. There were some events leading up to that um, exam, which I won't go into the details of, but that did sort of affect me. Uh, but I guess that's not a valid reason. Um, Again, a D, a grade of a D, to be pushed up to an A, it just doesn't seem reasonable. So again, I will request some more independent mocks in there. I'm just using someone to revise for that. Both our teachers are amazing. Um, on everyone, of course, has a preference over one, and I've got a preference, but I guess that's sort of relevant. Uh, psychology for next year. I guess I am sort of excited. So many things to choose from, but I'm not really bothered what modules I get. Psychology is probably my most hated subject out of the three. But now that I've picked it, you got to do it. <laughs> so that's my results so far. With EPQ, got no clue what's going on. Our school was in a complete mess with submitting our essays and our production logs. Um, honestly, our EPQ class is just all over the place because our teachers have been just moving around all over the place but i'm hoping to submit that in the november 2021 entry finance we finished and we should be getting a grade on 10th of august as level results day don't know how we haven't been told anything about that but that's that so in summary i've got an acd end of year 12 which i'm i'm really not happy with i'm not happy with and my great and my aim is an A star AA by the end of year twelve. But you know you can't say you're gonna do stuff without actually doing them because otherwise it's pointless. So I will put in the effort 
No, I, I guess I already am. You might ask some people and I do put in their foot, but I guess it's just not enough. Because uh, at the end of the day, anyone could get an A star, to be honest. They really put in effort. That's what I've got to do. That's it for this video. Looking forward, I'm going to do loads of university based videos. Um, hopefully, a UCAS personal statement one. Once I send over my UCAS personal statement, get my response back. Once I start university, hopefully, because I don't want any sort of plagiarism to happen. So I feel like my personal statement is done at the moment. It's like done. I've just got, I've done so many drafts and I finally reached my 4,000. And when I read through it, it gives me butterflies. So that's when, use that as a sign of when you know you've done it, you've absolutely smashed it. So I'm going to read through that and use that as a video in the future for human sciences. Would, that's about it. I've got a few videos planned for the summer. They're all surprises though. <coughs> I was planning to do my 1K sub special next week. Uh, I haven't had the time to do a short video of Oscar. So that might be something like a 2k or a 10k special if you ever get up there but i just haven't found the time and the energy and just it, i just can't be bothered to bother oscar who's a professional at this when he's busy as well especially if it's a summer holiday he deserves a rest so that's probably something that's postponed for quite a while but i am planning something like a house tour maybe i know it's a bit of a stupid idea a house tour or yeah, I'll come up with something. Got one case of sub special. Ah, one case sub special is happening tomorrow. It's happening next week for sure. I guarantee you that. But, um, yeah, I'm just using the summer, um, going through a couple of summer schools. I'm doing um, enough field research placements coming up. Got some virtual and physical summer schools. Doing my extra reading for my personal statement. Final redraft. Uh, obviously keeping up with my Anki revision, uh, just reading through A2 level books, you know, just getting that head started, be productive, it's one thing I stress, year 12 on holiday is one of the most productive ones you need to have for your future, um, that's I guess what I can say, but loads of videos planned in the future. Uh, <coughs> this is not COVID, really. I shall see you guys later, I hope you enjoyed, sorry about the rushed ending, um, and yeah. Enjoy the rest of your summer holiday.